<laughs> oh. Let me try again. I'm gonna cause a fucking cave in. Uh, John Carson says, You think astronauts are making a game about space? You should have been here earlier. <laughs> yeah, you really should have. <laughs> Nina is talking about what some of the fan theories are so you, about uh, this game. Was Nina here? I don't, Nina hear you I don't think theory? Nina heard my theory. Don't, don't say if it's it, true or not, Nina, but you can repeat it, Austin. My theory was this was soon after we found one of the it was very, like, clear, very, pulp. very near the beginning of the game. Yeah, my theory was that the character that we're playing, Pope Prospero. Uh, Pope uh, Prospero the Third is some God sort of Pope Prospero. God bless. May he reign forever. Uh, that's how popes work. <laughs> yeah, I was You're Catholic, that's cat right? I was raised Catholic, Catholic so I know that's that's how you. Uh, uh... Yeah. If the if the smoke is red, it means he'll live forever. I'm pretty sure when they when the cardinals choose a new pope, if the pope smoke up, is pope red, on, pope out. If the, yeah. if right, the smoke is it. if the smoke is red, that that pope is fucking hot. That pope ain't dead. That's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yep, that's what that it is. pope ain't dead. <laughs> that's they figured they find out the old pope who they thought had died was in fact just resting. That's so he doesn't oh, die. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm being told not to go this way yet. Which way do I? Um. So my theory, Nina, was that uh, the character that we're playing as, whose first name I've now legitimately forgotten, this was a bit, but now it's just gone. I know his last name is Prospero. Um, is a is a fictional character from like a pulp or a comic book or something uh, who is himself like a psychic detective. One of the first things he says is that lots of kids write to him um, asking for his help, and that feels like the sort of thing that would happen, you know, like in the back of a of a comics like letter section or something. Um, and that and that maybe in a moment of weakness, Ethan did something like that. And because of whatever weird power Ethan seems to have with regards to writing things and making them come true, now, uh, now Principe Prospero is is alive and, and breathing. Snuggy Sora says, "If the Pope is red, then the armies of hell have come to claim the surface." Yeah, like, like, that's becomes, right. If the Pope is red, it's the Pope. Yeah. Fuck I'm kind it. of on the side where I I think that that. I was Prospero doing the, I had is, the right idea. Mm -hmm. I think Prospero, like, maybe is Ethan, because Prospero is, mm. like, the fakest fake name ever. And certainly sounds like a, a thing mm. that, like, someone who had a real messed up childhood and had to, like, re... had to figure out their shit alone might come mm. up with. And since yeah. they both have powers, uh, et cetera, et cetera... That. Some sort of totally uh, peace and peace and amnesia just amnesias mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Like I definitely feel like. Still? Oh. <laughs> I definitely feel like uh, Ethan has uh, uh, some hand on in, in okay, Prosper man. coming besides just writing the letter. Wait, yeah. what the? F no, turn that light back on. Can I can I exit it when it's turned on? Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure if it'll let me. Oh, it will. Okay, good. Look down That's enough. good. Maybe Ethan is like a reverse Hello Kitty. Like he's actually a cat. He's Sorry, actually a cat. He's not a boy at all. Yeah. Okay, so that's why there's no lights here. So. He's actually a cat named Jennifer. <laughs> he's British. This is really popular yeah. in, the, in the 60s. I don't want to know. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, John, uh, John Carson says Prospero sounds like a shitty superhero. And I know he just means that based on the name, but like also if you understood his power, it's it's a little it's a little shaky. <laughs> wow. Corporal Bem says that she just started watching five minutes ago and that this is very confusing. Yeah.
I thought maybe there was one of I feel I feel bad because people in the chat are saying that this is very confusing and I don't feel that confused. And I feel like we're we're not doing our jobs right by I feel like I should be doing right, a better job those, with conviction got those pope, pope jokes in. I don't know what else. Yeah, the pope jokes. <laughs> that's, the whole, that's all I got. Oh, this is the last one. I mean, at some point, your job huh. is not to do the game's job. Yeah. Right, that's true. So this is them I guess, no, but I guess, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think this um, is also one of those things that's supposed to be kind, kind of confusing until you yeah, get to yeah. the end and it all, like, falls into place. Right, I guess, like, I am not confused by the space plot disappearing um, because I, I have a read on it, but if my read is wrong and it comes back up, then that'll be a nice little surprise. I still we'll find that confusing because I was expecting to get little moments like that a little more often, not just we are, We're still getting that. That was probably a raccoon. No, no I mean, no, I nothing on par with, oh, sure. you're in space now. Nothing that over the top. Yeah, yeah. That, that just sort of happened, and now we're back to the rest of the game. But like the witch thing was the same thing. That's it. Oh boy, is the price. I guess. I'm going up there. The yeah, the witch thing and the the field full of bones and the house. Yeah, right. I guess I took those things at face value as part of the story. Right. Whereas right. No, I, like, I don't think that the space thing was. I don't think like the wizard's potion room is a real thing in this in this story. You know. No, but to me, I, I read that as like a weird culty thing. Mm -hmm. You're sick. We all are. Dale, what are you doing? I guess, but even even that stuff, you're right, that, that could be real. And then also the space thing could, right? Like there's that weird news story about the satellite being launched. So maybe there is some weird space angle here that that's also going to get tied in. Yeah. Rough. Thomas, the, the Carter family is not the Van de Graaff family. I think you're confusing yeah. the two. The, Carter yeah, the families, Carters are caretakers. Right. The Carters are caretakers of the Van de Graaff family's uh, the estate. estate. Like, yeah. yeah. Because the... They don't even the seem to live in that house, right? No, like I don't they, think so. Yeah. They lived in the burnt down house, right? Yeah. Or, or, I don't, or in I don't the, know that we've been to their house. Oh, okay. The Carter's house, that is. I'm not sure. Right, right. I guess the the house where we found the photo could be theirs. It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, it's, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Where are you? I'll deal with your brother. Go now. Dale's dad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. He didn't kill his wife. Ethan is from Retrosphere. He almost got me. Yeah, Nina says the Carter house is the one with the photo in it. That makes sense. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got burned down when Ed, the grandfather, maybe fell asleep. Um, or when Ethan wrote that story about the man setting fi the fire stuff, right? Um, just slowly going forward. Should I go down oh. here, do you think? Or should I go forward? Let's go down this let's go down here first. Virtusphere, I thought you were teasing me. Because you Virtusphere asked, wait, is so is Ethan a Carter or a Vandegriff? And I thought that was a well that was a, a trap to get me to answer the question of whether or not the the character Ethan was uh what from the game The Vanishing of Ethan Carter was a Carter or a Vandegriff. <laughs> but Soul Shot says Virtusphere, the game is called Fuck, I'm not falling for your trap. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is this just looping forever? Like that tunnel? Tolvo Tolvo did wonder if the money had some element of it. Um uh, oh wait, what? 
Okay. If this warning okay. stands walk no farther further. If this warning stands our ritual failed. If this warning stands the sea thing gate remains. Sea thing gate. Remains sealed. Remains sealed. Seething. Sea sea thing, thing or seething? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's written as sea thing, but maybe it's supposed to be like a play mm-hmm. on words. Uh, one thing that's interesting about Should one like non yeah i think unless unless nina says this is wrong um but i don't oh hey oh fuck god damn it game (laughs) thanks Uh, one of the things that tolvo had said uh was that he wondered if it had to do with the money anyway in some way um and i think non like let's i don't think this is a i'm not suggesting that this is the thing that happened but uh, i think it, one interesting way to think about like the stories this kid is writing um and in general the kind of family uh bickering it, it's like he's reading a lot of stories about about um, and writing a lot of little stories about families bickering over shit while his family is like a stand-in for a family that's busy bickering over shit you know um I hate I hate mazes. It actually doesn't seem that hard though. Is that what it is? Maybe not. Mm, maybe. I bet all these candles were expensive. Right? Who put them all? They're here? really big. Even if they don't smell like something. Wait, wait, really... go back really quick and look down that hallway to your left. I just need to get a better look at back up a little bit. Uh, what is that at the end of the hall? Is it just a weird rock formation that's on a giant Easter yeah, bunny? It's no, it's not. Like, uh, <laughs> this is actually <sighs> uh, oh, a sequel to that Freddy game. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Oh. God. God damn it. The corpse's okay. face was really unnerving. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be Dale, right? Or or it could be the, is the grandpa? brother. Dale is oh, the okay. uncle, right? Isn't he already dead? Dale's Dale's the dad. We already saw the brother die. Oh, Dale's the dad. Who's the who's the yeah. uncle that we that Where died? We Chad Shh, he died Chad. in the tomb. Yeah. And the brother died on the train tracks. Right, 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 right. Oh, there's another. He's not dead, but eternal lie. The god of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian eyes have long grown cold. In the name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. little thing. Can we spin that? Like the glowing letters there. You see that? Yeah, the glowing letters. Yeah, that's neat. I almost just blew, like, like at my screen as if I could like clear <laughs> off some of the d- yo what is that Phil uh, <laughs> let's uh let's go up here <laughs> it's just a stargate it's fine it's y'all fools messing with stuff look at this it's just an auditorium it's fine oh I know the answer to this one well, we don't, don't, don't move don't move to back up the answer to this is you could you have to spell out white <laughs> Jehovah on the ground <laughs> I mean, the first thing's gonna be like a B, and the last thing's gonna be like an M, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, this you is gotta fucking. Yeah. We should calibrate the Stargate. B something, 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 something. Are there more corpses down there that we can. There must be, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There must be more corpses we'll stand in the maze. On things. I, I followed that one here, but there must be more. <laughs> like. Along the way in the maze, mm-hmm. that all. Totally. There's always more corpses. There's always corpses in the banana stand. What? <laughs> Good work. High five. <laughs> you did it. I, did, I really did it. <laughs> the joke master. <laughs> the joke master. <laughs> That's what what was them. the... Thomas says, is this where the note in the room 
with the head comes into play. What was that note about again? I wish we could look at all of our notes. Hey, buddy. Do you remember in the like a cult? Oh yeah, so they were all in violet. Oh right, it was like all of the characters are in violet or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I but that, like was, that, that, was actually come that was that was no, 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 no. that was like also just a weird background thing on a wall. Yeah, yeah. Next, that was just next a story. To a riot girl poster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Also, like we have the clue for this. It was the glowing yeah. letters on that ripped thing, and the rest will just be piecing the other like three in the right order or something. Yeah, totally. That's doable. Yes. Hey, friend. You don't think they mind? Do you? How many were there total? How many? I should have looked more carefully at Five that. Five or six? Six? Yeah. Six? I'm playing yeah. at six. Oh. Jones Kama Ice Cream says, I'm surprised they haven't found the things yet, Nina. And Nina says, Same. I'm so sad. Ha ha. Yeah. <sighs> Five corpses. I think we hit. Oh, there's there right there. This- I'm gonna assume they're talking about hit clips. The how many are we at? Mm-hmm. Were we at four? Is this the fifth? We must have been at four. Yeah, yeah. Eight, yeah. I thought we were at five already. So, uh, I don't know how, so I'm gonna follow how it then because that's gonna take me to the right mm-hmm. direction. Yeah. So I don't get goddamn lost. Uh oh, Nina's unhappy. We did something bad. What? Or she's just really upset that I mentioned hit clips. <laughs> which I wouldn't really blame her for. Nina says, I can't believe this. Did we fuck up? What did we do? Did we, did we goof? How could we have fucked up? I mean, we're playing the game. Uh, oh. What is. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Uh, oh. Well. There's the jump scare. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Do we have to find all those corpses together? Yeah, probably. No. We uh, don't have to find them all again. No fucking way. Did we find one too many corpses? No, I think we. I think we found the right. I think what they're freaking out about is I think that thing is wandering around all the time, and we had just somehow managed to avoid it. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Mm-hmm. But I bet it doesn't Curse. reset the puzzle. Oh, right. Okay. Apparently they patrolled the entire maze and we only saw one. Weird. Charmed. I don't know where the exit to this maze is, to be honest. I'm not convinced that... Uh, I really hope it saved our progress. It did. I she also says you bodies. don't lose any progress. All right, good, good, good. Yeah. Not in love with that jump scare. Like it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Nina had said that there was going to be a jump scare coming up, so I was in kind of the right mode for it. Um, and I kept my lights on earlier. Remember when I was like, oh, "I'm going to go turn off my lights." I didn't do that, so I'm okay. Just, just so you know, I'm okay. I want to make right? sure everyone knows that. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> um, you doing okay? But it just felt like out of tone for this. It felt out of tone. Bit. Yeah, yeah. it's a little goofy. I. I yeah. had turned my lights yeah. off, but like oh, no. when entrance, you it? saw his like shadow projected and then he like poofed mm-hmm. and then reappeared, that kind of diffused the jump scare for me because yeah. that initial surprise wasn't jump scary. Yeah. Um, so when the jump scare actually hit, I was just like, eh, yeah. okay. Icky. It's scarier for me to just get lost in this maze. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And maybe here, like. Just right, and hear some drunk or like yeah, like seeing him in the distance was way scarier than having like yeah. a silly uh, rubber face in your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we oh. go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I I, but uh, yeah, like that was like that was that was a fine jump scare for a jump scare game, but this <laughs> thus far. <laughs> As creepy as a lot of this is, it has not struck yeah. me as a jump scare game, so that seemed a little weird. Yeah. Uh, so how do we okay, know so what Z order to put these in? 
I think they're each. It's a row. It's a row, right? Each there's one per row, or they're not one per row. No, there's not one per row. Okay, great. Oh, it's uh, the shapes. Yeah, yeah. But we oh, don't it's know the which. Shapes. I see. Order. I see. I see. <laughs> so the triangle is the first one. Oh, and that's I see. The little. Wait, is it the first one? Yeah. What was that other stuff then? I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, let's square. It's square one. I think that's that one over there. That's like a Z. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, I thought that was the... Oh, that's a square. I was looking at the diamond. Okay. I yeah, it's like the Z. I think that's how I'm reading it. I don't know. That one also... It's awesome. Like Thing, shape. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. There, that's the one. Yep. There's the diamond. That's the uh, yeah, sort of like an E, or like a backwards E, I guess. Because it's spooky. Oh no. Well, the last one we just rotate until it hit, until it clicks. Uh -huh. Oh, is it? That's oh, it's another it was triangle. On the note, wasn't it? Wait, what? Did it say that on the note? On the note with the glowing letters, and there was like a yeah. ripped out middle oh. section. The first oh. thing was the. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> that's Janine, you guys. So here's my question. That one might be the triangle. The bottom one might be the M. Because look at the bottom symbol. Oh. Yeah, that's also what I was. I was wondering why it was going <laughs> to or into out instead of out to end. Boom. There you go. Mm -hmm. On space. I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 Nope. That's. Oh, that's like. Uh -huh. I did something wrong. I, I really you screwed up, guys. I it's really. A big you're a, You're like yeah. the worst. I like, really psychic screwed it up. Detective. I really like. As far as supernatural detectives go, Phil. Oh, it looks oh. like they were trying to wake some sort of elder god. I better, uh, I guess, I better really complete cool. their ritual. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that looks really good. No. This looks really good. No thanks. It's really none, good. None of, none of that, please. I'm good. Thank you. <sighs> Brother. I respect your beliefs, but not really my thing. Um. <laughs> I mean, do we know what type of like old god this is? Like, is this like a? Well, it's a, you know, giant octopus thing. Yeah, but like, what's its what's its platform? <laughs> what's its motivation? Yeah, is it a Democrat or Republican old god? Yeah, listen, like, what's <laughs> how does it feel about campaign finance reform? Like, that's let's get to the real issues. The curse of the sea thing, yeah, the Enochian yeah. Necronomicon. The iron ore miners had finally found it. Uh, Enochian, Enochian, uh, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb summon and disturb summon the sea thing Nike. One miner realized the ritual would unleash Gnai's flood upon this world, and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with blades, blades, shards of magic, <laughs> elt down. Gnai, in response, cursed the miner who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. All right, yeah, that's yep, yeah. That's pretty funny. So this is cool. this is yeah. That's <laughs> another space story, right? That's yeah, another space yeah, moment. We just, and that yeah. explains the miner who's alive. Mm -hmm. And actually mm -hmm. I like it more now that I know it's part of a story and not like part of the, the I like it. I mean Yeah, I'm, see mm -hmm. we've been we've been see you and I have been on the same path this whole time. We also yeah. I'll read your story later. Okay? And um please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew that. We, we did remember that, that that the space stuff came from his like pulp novel that with the what's that with the cover with the pods. Nina says, "Remember the space stuff came from from established fiction oh, too." Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it came from that book. 
Dear Mr. Carter, the United States Patent and Trademark Office has received your January 27th, 1970, there's the date, 1973 letter <laughs> requesting further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent, uh, 527F2D, was rejected by this office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record from you more than four dozen requested patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful, and all have been met with challenges by you, Mr. Carter. We would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. Huh. You think that's, uh, you think that's his dad? That's two? Not, I mean, I, I would assume it's not Ethan. Fucking mm -hmm. I mean, it could be, Ethan. He could, could be, be, like, inventing stuff. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. Dale, get offense. your shit out of the basement. Bring it to the goddamn dump. I'm so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on my way to the washing machine. I'm not kidding. Either you move it or I burn it. it <laughs> okay, it's the dad. It's the dad. It's the dad. It's the dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah uh, signed M. Is that, uh, is that the mom? Do we know yeah, um, Misty? Miss, Missy? Yeah, Missy you're, or right, Misty? you're right, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welp. Well, yeah, see, so see, I'm honestly wondering whether uh, his family is actually dead or if that was on his, his imagination, too. Like, yeah, I kind of that's kind of what I was gesturing towards before mm -hmm. when I was it's... talking about the Vandergriffs and the and the bickering. Like, this does sort of feel like it's Ethan coming to terms with his family being mean well, and, to and each and other. Question, and like, everything and the question feels that I think super symbolic. To, the question that I think we need to ask that that still I think there's room for it to go. One you missed a another. letter. You missed a letter. Go back. Uh -huh. Yeah, you definitely was, you stepped right over one, I think, at first, and, and didn't realize you were, yeah. Where? All the way back. Where you were reading those other two, there's a third I letter. The one, I thought the third one was just the story. Um, I'll run back. Yeah. Uh, the, the other thing I was going to say that we need to keep in mind that, that I think could still go either way is, mm -hmm. is this, um, you know, is, is, the, is the story here that Ethan has some sort of weird power where he's bringing stuff to life? Right. Uh, out of his or, imagination, or is it your character who is established to have these psychic powers? Is it him, like you know, touching stuff that Ethan's come into contact with and getting flooded mm -hmm. with like his like imagination right. or whatever? Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. The... Nina says 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 yeah. It was just the story. Sorry. Well. 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 <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's to me. That's the big question. Like, I feel like at this point, from what we know so far, from what we've uncovered, I feel like it could end up going either way. No, uh, no, I don't think anyone's played Neverending Nightmare on stream yet. No one's played it yet. You know, I'm I'm really curious about it. Have you played it? Is it good? I would like that game to be good, but I'm also like, I feel uncertain about it. Yeah, I'd say. that's fair. <laughs> Uh, Looks like there's something over here. <laughs> it's awful. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate it, says Nina. Well, now I can't go in unbiased. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this looks just dangerous. Like not spooky. Like just don't go in that water. Oh right, it's not boiling, it's just a chemical reaction. Oh, you yeah. immerse yourself in that chemical water. Yeah, you know what? That's actually an interesting, like, huh. That is, yeah. Dale told him that. Presumably for his dad. It looks like it's boiling, but it's not. Yeah. Are they, like, fracking over here? Or? Uh huh. Excuse me? Fracking. Yeah. You know. It's like when you swear, but in space. On <laughs> cable. <laughs> I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. Ew. And it wanted me to <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you know, like, like the, the octopus, like sticky, mm -hmm. sticky tentacles. You know how it is. Yep. Alright, well, we're back outside. 
Oh, hey, we're down here. Oh, uh, we're down below the dam. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it is pretty impressive that this is all happening too without like. There's no uh, there's no loading going on, you know. It's true. Yeah. Big house, big house. There's two big houses. All right. Oh, so down what's, here. What's this all about? Oh. Bleah. Bleah. That guy's just being silly. <laughs> he was just being silly. Yeah. 1901. 1901. Okay. It's either an address or a year. Either way. Mm-hmm. So which house? That one or the other one? I like this house. This is a nicer house, I think. Uh, Nina's talking about the game and says, the entire game consists of trudging slowly through... This is never-ending nightmares. Trudging slowly yeah. through empty corridors. Um, uh, it says it's basically yeah. a LOL mental health lunatic asylum horror kind of plot with seemingly no substance. And then also, I think it's going um, to be based on experience with depression, which I, I think from having read about the creator, it totally is. Yeah, I, I hear it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the developer who made Retrograde, yeah. um, uh, which did not do very well. Um, and the kind of explanation I heard was that this was, you know, because it didn't do well and because of the work he put into it and a lot of, you know, of his experience there, his depression became very acute. Um, and this was, uh, what I'd heard was that a lot of the things that, that he made in this game uh, originally came to him um, in nightmares during his depression. Um, so I don't know that that makes it a thing I'm interested in playing. You know what I mean? It doesn't make I it I do more... know that the game literally starts with you stabbing woman in the stomach. Right. Oh, cool. Well, that's cool. But the art style is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I might end up playing it uh, mm -hmm. for review at some point. So I don't want to go too much into detail. Yeah, yeah. Played it, Sounds good. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what else came out? Everything. Uh, Literally fucking everything. It's There's so much... Okay, I'm sorry. What, what, the uh, Tropico Mad World DLC. What it is lets that? You That's fucking... Political, uh, it lets you put political enemies in asylums and administer electroshock therapy mm. in their, um... <laughs> their tropical dictatorship sim game seems, that's already really uncomfortable. That seems a little bit... <sighs> kind of racist sometimes. Ill-advised? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They also, they Those treat it with like this, with the same like lighthearted, lol, suffering sort of stuff that they do with the rest of the game. That... To be fair, I guess I, I'm not shocked by that. Um, no. Because I know they're, uh... Kind of their ammo. The well, yeah, the 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 core game as well. I remember, uh, I believe it was Charlie Hall reviewed it for us, and and that was kind of one of the points. Is he's like, it, it kind of like it deals with these really heady subjects of like dictatorship, and it just makes it like a really weird, fun thing. And it's like you're a dictator, but you're wacky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there there are ways that could be done that I would find interesting, but and like I used to really like Tropico like a mm -hmm. while ago. Um, I mean, it's an interesting, like, concept. The initial, like, thing, but yeah. at, at some point it just started to strike me I as distasteful. I guess as I began to learn more about that stuff in reality, yeah. the way that they I, were I, dealing I think, with it, distasteful. I think the problem that, that Charlie had was was kind of that. It was it was the idea that um, that it... Uh, what's, what's the way to put it? It, um, it deals with these things, and it, it also makes it so that, like, being... Like being the most evil possible is also the most efficient for the game. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it kind of like it rewards yeah. being a terrible person. And, yep. and that, that sounds like something yeah. where with this new DLC too. Oh, out, so this must be. That's our that's our shortcut back yeah. up if we want to yeah, go back up to solve an earlier puzzle, but we don't uh, need to. Hope. It uh, yeah, it makes it makes um, I, I have to imagine it's probably something similar with this uh with this DLC as well, where it's something like, you know, you're saying, like, it's not only that you can uh, put your enemies in asylum and give them electro electroshock therapy, but that probably is something that, like, has very big benefits to you doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of, like... And a tone of, like, LOL, but you've never done right. this in a game before. Exactly. Exactly. That tone matters so much. Um... Especially when you're dealing with shit that has, like to real people and is awful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I 
always a good time on stream, friends. Yeah, always. Mm -hmm. Mortar says, I've never found that being a terrible person helped me in Tropico. Um, so that maybe, maybe I'm just way off base. I, this is specifically, I should say, what I re recall reading Charlie saying about the most recent Tropico. Right. Um, yeah. And you can go read Charlie's review, because I could also be just misremembering. Oh, I forgot to put the axe here. That's what Picked up the oh, axe and set it down. All right, give me your souls so I can go level up. <laughs> so this is, oh, this, this is This is dad. Bloodborne? This is dad. Right. I didn't even look at it yeah, very carefully. Yeah, definitely, that's, that's definitely dad. dad. Yeah. A crockbox looks linked to an episode of a, uh, of Giant Palm bod podcast that uh, the designer of mm -hmm. Neverending Nightmares was on. All right, so what do we have here? This is, this is that brother? Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying about the... Yeah, see, I thought there was... Okay, so let's talk about the family one more time. I just want to get everything straight. So, I brother... I those were a little more different. Instead of, like, jacket, hoodie, sweater. Yeah. <laughs> brother, uncle, dad, mom, grandpa. Yeah. Ethan, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I think so that's the brother was killed at the train tracks. That no. brother, the one who just sent side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. These aren't. Yes. We're not seeing these in chronological order, yes. but You're he was the first seen. person we saw killed. Yeah. Um. The uncle was killed in the cemetery. The the one right. that we know is still alive is the grandpa, or at least not that we know is still alive, but the one who right. we have the not found we a, a murder yeah. scene for, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was. I mean, also. Ethan. Right, but didn't Ethan, the brother, kind of told Ethan to run away? Yeah. Right. Okay. So okay. So that looks like he's about no, the to. Dad, the dad told Ethan to run away. I think. No, no, no. But at the train tracks, before he died, yeah. before he bled out, he was like, "Run, Ethan! Something, something, something." I don't know. I can't keep this straight. That was the grandpa. I think was telling. Oh, the Ethan grandpa told Ethan. Right? Yes. Okay. The grandpa killed the brother. Right, right, guessing right. the brother's brother going to kill the dad. The dad killed the mom. The mom and the well, the mom killed the uncle. Right. Okay. Um, I think that's this one's pretty like the chronology weird. here. So the grandpa was theoretically the last one left alive. Yeah, I think that's right, Phil. I think that seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, Nina says they kind of gave up making the chronology thing into puzzles at this point. Yeah, this is pretty much like a linear like. This one seemed pretty obvious. She got accidentally locked in an elevator and then drowned. I didn't want her to get hurt. You know, since Ethan found that room. Since Ethan found that what? Room. 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 Okay, room, right. Roomba, since he found the haunted Roomba. Maybe that room is real, that magician room. I mean, I don't think it's the magician room. Like, I think that's in the yeah. story. But there is mm -hmm. some room in the Vandegriff house that is apparently... Do you think that's where we're headed next? We were already there. I thought, see, that's what I'm saying. Was that the Carter house? That's what Nina said, that the place with the photo was the Carter house. The other place next to it was the Vandegrift house. Okay. The one the one where we did the portal puzzle, like the room puzzle, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. We were close. We were close. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that wasn't the Vandegrift house, actually. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> The room is going to be like a metaphor for some big family secret, right? Because the family spokesperson or whoever said that they all had reasons for not wanting to come and live in that house. Yeah, they're very busy in Chicago. But yeah, that would make sense. I could see that. So... So the brother technically didn't kill him, I guess. No, no. Passive murder. We've, Passive we've <laughs> engaged with this already. Multiple times. Alright, you're going out there. I guess I will... Yeah. Right. So he says, huh, Travis said, where's my mother? So this happens after the mine. Yeah. yeah. Which happens... Because well, I mean, they were, you know, Travis after is coming out the of the graveyard. Mine. Yes, yes. And that happens after the graveyard, and then that happens... 
And he said his mother had an accident. Right, right. The graveyard's the first. Of what we've seen. Of what we've seen chronologically. Which makes sense because it has the most people involved as well. Yeah, Yeah, everyone is there. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, so after this, it's that, a train track thing train with Travis tracks. and the Grab Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This sleeper was feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Is there more in here? I mean, I will look. I just want to... Yeah. But it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Mm-hmm. Like a big old fat sleepy cat, not a windowsill. <laughs> Does this game end Looking with like a little the... pause? Uh huh. It's earlier. It's oh. earlier. Well, or twelve hours later, or like, but or, but yeah, or one of the two clocks that we've seen that is literally the glass is broken off is also just broken. Right. I bet the right. clocks are sort of giving you hints towards the orders of these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that event. Event. So, like, it being earlier than... Yes, the yes. Tra- yeah, that situation. actually kind of makes sense. Yes, because the train the train situation, yeah, is, was at 7.05, and that's what we just said came after this. So uh, Someone in the chat asked if... Uh, I, I didn't see who it was, but asked if I was going to stream Evil Within. Um, I, I don't know, but... I'm, we, listen, there are enough people streaming on Stream Friends now that I feel like someone will probably stream some of that game at some point. Probably. There's a, right, so this just seems to be like a big. This is the damn like generator, I guess. Yeah. I didn't put that together until just now. I wonder why the door can lock. That that. Yeah, that's me. interesting. Me too. I was about to say, in case it sinks. Oh, I wonder. You know. Oh, what I just, Ethan. You know, yeah. I, I bet it's. I bet you're not supposed to be able to enter this until you're in that weird. Mm-hmm. Like crazy, so uh, that's murder solving thing. So, uh, yeah. So it was locked. Uh, so that's I wasn't supposed to enter it. That yet. makes more sense. That's one, and then two. I bet Ethan was hidden in there, locked in there, and the dad had the key. Maybe. Uh, which is how he got in there sure. to get. Yeah, yeah. To get that totally yeah. makes sense. Let's go for a swim. Oh, that sounds all right. Watch out for the uh, slaughterfish. But. Watch out for the um, giant octopus creature. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a good moment. Good job, game. <laughs> hmm. I don't know where to go. Rifton. Matt Mitchell says if uh, if Matt Gilgen Gilgenback is, uh, mm-hmm. is trying to portray what he saw or felt, um, can we just say Nah, dude, Nah, you got your nightmares wrong. Um, sorry, one second, guys. Can you hear me now? I thought I was looking at my screen. Hi. Yep. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Hey, the vanishing of Phil Kohler. Did, uh, I think is I don't about know where I that was cut out. <laughs> the, the vanishing of Phil Kohler. I had to say that again. Uh, I don't know. Either. Oh, I was uh, talking Cole. about Matt Mitchell's thing. Um, if if the creator oh, of right. Never Ending Nightmares is saying like these games are my nightmares, can we just say, Nah, dude, you got your nightmares wrong? I think the the thing is once it's once you're putting it out as like an artistic thing for people to to consume and and get something out of like i think there's at that point like it's open to criticism it's open to critique um and i don't think there's anything wrong with like I, we're all very we're all more capable of like a binary this thing you did was bad or this thing you did was you know matches my own experiences like we can we can say like hey this was probably really productive for him to make and it was it's probably very useful for, for people who have similar situations 
Titans, or like his who have an experience similar to his. Um, but but that doesn't mean it's useful for everybody. You and know, it's also or, not or a completely um, objective and like mm -hmm. straightforward description of his experiences. Like right. there is a lens through which all those things are are being seen and are being shared. So mm -hmm. there is still something in terms of construction and, and depiction to and it's and it's fair as always. Consider, I think regardless of experience. To, yeah, I think it's always fair to engage. Uh, especially again, like honestly and openly and and you know constructively, um, with people who uh, want to engage with a social issue or a personal issue, um, and and kind of work through whether or not they effectively achieved that goal. Right? Like, um, I can only talk from speak from experience, but like so. A couple of years ago, I guess a little over a year ago now, I wrote that piece about Animal Crossing and race, and I like that piece a lot. Like I'm pro that piece that I wrote, but I came away from it and then had conversations with a few people, and it changed their their kind of critiques of that piece changed parts of my opinion. Not anything that not nothing big. Like I, I still stand by that piece pretty firmly, sure. um, but just in terms of what I demanded, right? Like, I went from saying what I want is to be able to be a person of color in every game, visually speaking, and and after having good, good you know, cr critiques issued to that piece, what I said was, actually, what I want is games that engage with the nature of being black in North America, and not just my, my character to be tan, but, like, sure. yeah. to also have... Um, and so I'm glad I got called out on that from a few people personally, you know, critically. Um, I suspect the same could be done in this case, where like people who are also invested in these issues will be able to levy very specific critiques about the ways in which mental mental uh, you know illness and, and conditions are are depicted, and whether or not it's mm -hmm. it is actually productive to be depicted in the ways that that it is. Um. Even just to help put a finer point on it, of just like sometimes mm -hmm. when you're when you're making shit, it's hard to say exactly what you want to say and. Mm -hmm. Sometimes having those talks, even if they're uncomfortable and unpleasant and and difficult, can help you get to a, a better place in terms of what you're saying or what you want to say. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, on on the plus side, I'm totally lost. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. not um, okay, so let's think go. about. So I turned to I turned to a valve in that I saw damn that. place and it said closed instead of open but I don't okay. know what there that was that changed. can you go back I saw you walk over some stone that had water yeah that was way me, back running right I, I can do that though I can head that direction Nina says you can now cross one of those dams um, oh is it this it is oh that it looks is. right yeah. Aha. Nice. Thank you. You know, we would be lost without you. <laughs> yeah, we super would be. Is yeah, the no, thing. I, I was not even being sarcastic. We actually would be. Are you the spaceman? Yeah, are you the sleeper? I'm sticking to my original claim, but I hope you're not the sleeper. <laughs> is Ethan in a coma? This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. What if Ethan is... What if we're all just in the snow globe on the side of Ethan's bed? Oh, well, here... Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hey. Oh. So maybe this what? is the Vandergriff house. Yeah. You know what? That might be the case. There's yeah. something telling me that perhaps this is the other two houses it's we saw, neither were the Vandergriff. It's a lot more burned down than those, those articles kind of led me to believe. 
Right. Oh. There's the room. Some stuff. That's we it. The dragon balls. Mm-hmm. So yep. now we have to go on a mm-hmm. quest to collect the dragon balls. Oh man! Oh, look at those! We back up. Go look at those cool lion statues. <sighs> Love lions. Regal as fuck. Mm. Lions I mean, are all, hey, buddy. The lions all hanging out. <laughs> they're not super regal if they're making the was up face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sense it. Uh, mm. Mm. That's the grandpa. Did Ethan? Yeah. Did Ethan write a story about a boy named Corvus? Did Ethan write a story about a boy named Corvus? I love that song. Are you just spelling Corvus here? From which? Good question. Yeah, let's do it from there. Um, oh. Because his grandpa definitely just said Corvus. I mean, Ethan, right? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, cool. No, that's cool. Oh, you yeah. you trying to get out, buddy? I'm stuck. <laughs> help, help me. It's like that Keanu Reeves movie with that big old gross wall. Oh, uh, what? Oh, no. There's a, now there's another thing. Hey, little buddy. Aww. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Does he have two mouths? I'm See, practicing like, my gymnastics. It's like that Spider-Man kiss scene. You gotta kiss Ooh. him. Uh, uh, so there's here's the thing. That's oh, the thing right uh, there. This is the thing. Listen, I wasn't uh, kissing um, this guy over here. That's what you. I was being <laughs> weird or anything. What are you? What are you up to? Ugh. Oh. Peaceful. Yeah. Okay. Don't touch the... No. no. Uh, <laughs> I'm not myself. Have not been myself. Voices again today. Same as yesterday. This is most <sighs> Bexum. Bexum is a Great. goddamn good word. <laughs> yeah. I tried Another to brick one. her up in the wall, but she fought me. In the end, I couldn't do it. Not to my wife. Neither she nor the sleeper is pleased. Now I must decide whom I fear more. Okay... And Vandergriffs? Yeah, or... that be, uh, that's, I think that's what's. Uh... Um, Verbal Fem says, going with, that, with going to theory that Ethan is writing these stories, what do these stories mean about Ethan? Um, some of them seem to be about escapism. Some of them seem to be about him kind of working through his familial problems. Um, and some of them are just like, yeah, like replicating stuff he's read, clearly. And then there's that okay. whole that whole side of it where it's like mythology, like he's mm-hmm. creating his own folk tales. Right. Yeah. Totally. Uh, what is that one? Oh, that's him at the. And no, this is is this? Yeah, you're right. It is, is that? That's the. I'm guessing. I'm. Oh, does he seal the grandpa in? Uh, so is it? I think opening is, I think it's there. Yeah, I think it's one, two, door, and then crying, or like on the floor. The we'll table see. thing. It always ends in crying mm-hmm. for me. I it off. It's okay. Oh. Get away from me. Okay. I found Vandergrift's diary. 
He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I gosh! I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. No, we super don't. <laughs> Dog? Why Sleeping sleepers lie. Is that a toaster? A rinse a gas can? <laughs> the handles look like, it, look like toast. toasters. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Got that's true. Toaster repair. Uh, oh, is that grandpa on the ground? Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, the kid went in there with a gas can, so. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! Mm. How would you Even burn the room while you're inside of it? Oh my god, Grandpa, no. <sighs> oh, woof. <sighs> Cramps. Where does the moonshine come into this? <laughs> that was super uh, not moonshine. Uh, oh, those fire detectives are bad fire. Okay, well, let's look around this room first. Let's look around this room first. Waking him up. That seems like a bad idea, but but I think it's what we gotta do. It's your pal, Principal Prospero. Principal <laughs> Prospero? <laughs> you were truant from school and I got worried. Kid's face. You're right. You were too late. Jerk. What? Okay. 